The OnePlus X was probably one of the biggest fails in the company's short history. However, this year it's going to have another crack at it. As well as a moderately revised OnePlus 7, we're going to get a OnePlus 7 Pro. It's an ultra premium smartphone ready to take on the likes of the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus and the Huawei P30 Pro. Here's our first hands-on impressions. And yes, the front looks awesome. The so-called fluid AMOLED panel arrives without a notch and the bezels are extremely slim. For the first time on a OnePlus smartphone, the display is curved at the edges. A software update is supposed to use the edges as a kind of notification LED system like on Samsung's Note or S series. The absolute killer feature of the display is the frame rate of 90Hz. This enables smooth animations, provided that the app or game also supports 90Hz. The gamers among you especially will be happy about the lower latency. What's also great is that, despite the now very narrow aluminium frame, OnePlus managed to keep the slider for the Do Not Disturb mode. So have you ever wondered where the front facing camera goes when there's neither a notch nor a hole in the display? The answer to this mystery is revealed when you activate facial recognition or a selfie camera mode. The front camera automatically slides up out of the housing. The mechanism and shape of the camera unit are strongly reminiscent of the Vivo Nex, which also comes from the BBK group. The tiny display edges have also forced the ambient light and proximity sensors under the screen. The optical fingerprint sensor is also under the display and should now work faster and more reliably than it did on the OnePlus 6T. My first impression is that OnePlus lives up to its promise with this one. So what about the usual Achilles heel of OnePlus smartphones, the camera performance? In line with the current trend, OnePlus focuses on three different types of camera. There's a 48 megapixel main sensor, a 16 megapixel wide angle lens, and a telephoto lens with a three times optical zoom. The Sony IMX586 is installed as the main camera and will now finally deliver good night shots thanks to the quad buyer technology in the so-called nightscape mode. But can OnePlus really enter the realms of the Google Pixel 3 and the Huawei P30 Pro? Of course, we will test that for you when we do our full review of the device. Under the hood, there's also plenty of Pro, namely Qualcomm's fastest SoC, the Snapdragon 855. There's a full 12 gigabytes of RAM and up to 256 gigabytes of storage. There's no possibility of expansion, however. Thanks to liquid cooling, the OnePlus 7 Pro stays cool on the Warp Charge 30 power supply, even during charging. With a 4000 mAh battery, the OnePlus 7 Pro plays in the same league as the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus and should last as long as the top South Korean smartphone. So what about the normal version of the OnePlus 7? Because yes, there will also be a non-pro version this year too. Seen purely from the outside, the OnePlus 7 can hardly be distinguished from the OnePlus 6T. The changes take place under the hood. Qualcomm Snapdragon 855 is in there with up to 8GB of RAM and a maximum of 256GB of storage. The 48 megapixel main camera, however, only has a 5 megapixel sensor for depth information by its side. In addition to the front camera, the speaker also receives an update. The earpiece now functions as a second speaker and enables true stereo sound. The display and battery, including the quick charging technology, also remain unchanged. With the 7 Pro, OnePlus has made a smartphone that can truly compete with the likes of the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus and the Huawei P30 Pro, at least in terms of sheer performance and display quality. We'll still have to wait to find out if that triple camera can convince us when we do our full review. An interesting tidbit here, the XO Mark gave the OnePlus 7 111 points in its performance test. That pitches it directly between the S10 Plus and the P30 Pro. If you enjoyed this OnePlus 7 Pro hands-on video, don't forget to like it and leave a comment in the comment section below. Subscribe to our channel for all the latest tech news I'm David, this is Andrew Pitt, thank you for watching.